We're now going to find the feasible solutions. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to just pick up where we left off, and we're going to graph each of these lines. So x plus y is less than or equal to 240 means we get our dots at 240 and 240, and we just draw the line between them like so. And the less than or equal in particular means that we're ruling out anything up here. So I'm just going to jump ahead and say it can't be anybody over here. I'll just put a bunch of X's. My next one, so that was this line. I'm going to do this one in green. The 2X plus Y is less than or 320. It gives me a 320 here. But it only gives me a 160 here. And we draw our line between these. And he's also a lesson. Zero is less than 320. So he's going to, in addition, roll out this region right here. And the blue one's ruling out that one. So I guess we only really need these. Because the these other lines, which I'm going to do both in purple, go here and here. And the reason I'm only looking at the first quadrant, which is very typical in linear programming, these tend to show up a lot is because we have to be up here. So my answer, if this were, if this had started as a system of inequalities, would be right through this region. This is my feasible solutions come from here. But in addition to that, our feasible solutions come specifically from the corner points. So I'm going to put these. I'm going to mark these as orange. That's going to be my best one of my answers. That's going to be one of my answers. That's going to be one of my answers, and that's going to be one of my answers. And so what we have is the point, this one's real easy, it's at 0, 240, that's one of them, which came from the, the line 1, so if we call this 1, 2, 3, and 4, this one came from 1 and 3, our second one is going to come from here, which fortunately shows up on the nice marks, but comes from 1 and 2. So if I solved 1 and 2, if I couldn't see it, if it didn't come out on a nice integer, I could solve for it. And it's going to be at 80, 160. Notice that 80 plus 160 adds up to 240, and 2 times 80 is 160, and 160 plus 160 is 320. So that point does work for 1 and 2. Our third one is going to come from lines 4 and 2. And it's nice because it has a 0 for the y, and it's at 160 for the x. And our very last one that we're looking at comes from 3 and 4. And it gives us the point 0, 0. So these are, this is our feasible solution. These are all of the possible solutions that we can get for this problem. And it's important to notice that only the corner points provide solutions. So we don't need to worry about any other point. I don't have to care about this point or this point or even this point or this point because this one is either going to be beaten by this one or by this one depending on whether it's a minimum or a maximum. 240 will do better than 160 if the other one is Y. So we only need corner points in our feasible solutions.